guys welcome back to my channel now i'm sure you know those times when you hug someone you know just a nice you know a nice hug and then whoopsie you leave your entire face on the shoulder <laughs> so all your foundation transfers onto their shirt worse yet if they had a white shirt huh? <laughs> and you're just sitting there waiting for them to notice because <laughs> of course they're like should i say should i not say nah i'm not gonna say <laughs> i'm not gonna say i just ruined someone's white shirt so i am going to tell you today how you can stop transferring your foundation onto other things or other people once and for all with five easy 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 steps that you can start doing today so if you want to know how to keep your foundation on your face where it's supposed to be then keep on watching so the first thing on your journey to a transfer free face of makeup is to have a good base so this is before you even put that foundation onto your face you have to have a really good base so what do i mean by a good base i basically mean first of all it's a clean face so you've done your skincare routine, you've applied your cleanser, you've done your toner, whatever it is you usually do, you've done it. But either way, your face is clean and ready to go for makeup. The second thing is to moisturize. So whatever moisturizer you use, you know, you've moisturized your face. Now here is a tip. Here's a good tip for you. Now once you've moisturized, you want to make sure that your moisturizer has some time to sink into your skin so don't put your moisturizer and then immediately you're already putting your foundation and let me tell you why your moisturizer needs some time to sink into your pores you know to actually sink into your face so that it doesn't become greasy you know and and make your skin oily because what happens is if you apply your moisturizer and then immediately go ahead and apply your foundation, your moisturizer hasn't sunk in, so your skin is greasy and greasy skin, foundation, whatever, that is what is going to make your makeup, yeah, it's going to make your makeup <laughs> transfer from your face onto other people or onto other skin. So give it a good 10, 20 minutes, you know, for it to sink in. I usually do my cleanser toner and then i moisturize and then from there maybe i go have breakfast or i brush my teeth or i iron my clothes and then i come back and do my foundation also you want to prime priming goes a long way now there are different types of primers in the market that do different things but the main thing you're looking for in a primer is a primer that is going to make sure your foundation sticks onto your face that's basically the aim of the primer is to give your foundation something to stick to so once you've moisturized you put on your primer right and then from there you put on your foundation so your foundation has something to stick to and it's going to be content it's not going to want to go sticking on your friend's beautiful white shirt or you know <laughs> so priming is quite important number two and this is like if you take away nothing else from this video this is the best tip that has helped me so much over the years and it has to do with how you actually apply your foundation so you've gotten your good base and then now we're moving into how you actually put that foundation onto your face to make sure it doesn't transfer onto other people so this is how i do my foundation and it's usually so transfer proof <laughs> if that's a word if that's a thing so what i do is i grab my foundation right and the aim is to build up your foundation using light layers so you're not just piling up all the foundation at once no so what you want to do is apply light layers at a time and then now the trick comes in between applying those light layers of foundation so what you want to do is actually to take a piece of tissue and blot out the excess oil and all of that from your face okay you know what i'm not doing this explanation justice let me just show you okay guys so let me show you how to do it so what you need to do is to take your foundation i'm using this black opal true color pore perfecting liquid foundation um it's a bit dirty 
ignore that <laughs> so you want to take um, your foundation whichever it is even if it's a stick whatever formula you're using and then you want to pump it onto your hand if that's how you do it or onto your brush but you just want a small amount because the point is to put your foundation in layers and build up so I'm just putting it onto my brush and then stippling it into my skin but now I'm basically just applying a really nice and light layer onto my skin Now once that's done, I like following up to do a bit more blending with a damp beauty blender. So now there is my very light um, foundation layer, my first layer. Now I am grabbing a piece of tissue paper this is actually this is a serviette but you can use tissue so you want to use this to blot out the excess product and the excess oils that are that are that are on your face so that's what I'm doing just pressing So yeah that's that and then now you can go ahead if you're not satisfied with what you have you can go ahead and add another layer and another layer but either way in between you keep blotting that's the key So that's basically how I apply my foundation to make it non-transferable and it truly works. It truly does. Number three is to set your foundation with a powder. So people generally do this. I think we all do this. But in case you've been skipping this step, this could be the reason why your foundation is transferring. So what you need to do is grab yourself a nice powder, any powder, translucent powder, a loose powder, whatever powder you usually use and you want to use that to set your foundation. So if you're using a brush, if you usually use a sponge, whatever you're using, you want to press it into the skin. Instead of just dabbing on top, you want to press it into the skin. Let me show you. Okay, so now what you want to do is take your powder, whatever powder you have, um, be it a loose powder, be it a translucent powder, basically any the powder you use, you want to take it to set your foundation. So this is the one I'm using. It's a loose powder. So what you want to do is take your brush and dip it into whatever powder you're using, tap off the excess and press it into the skin so instead of going like this you know you want to go like this pressing it into the skin that will make sure that your foundation is really set now a little goes a long way you don't need to pack on the powder So you just press it all over and you are good to go. And there you have it, you're good to go. Your foundation is set and 
chances of it transferring onto someone's beautiful white shirt are slim to none. Now the fourth thing is to use a setting spray to set all your makeup once you're done. Now setting sprays are just lifesavers. <laughs> so it kind of like locks in your foundation. So your foundation is highly unlikely to move when you use a setting spray. So using your setting spray is quite self-explanatory. You basically take your setting spray and put it quite quite some distance away from the face you don't want it all up in your face and then you just spray a nice and generous amount Whew! yes honey and then you wait for it to dry please don't touch it or do anything to manipulate it as it's drying you just put it and leave it to dry and once it dries your foundation is going to be set and you're going to be good to go. Now the fifth is lipstick. Now lipstick is part of makeup. It's not just foundation that transfers. Lipstick also transfers, does it not? You give someone a kiss on the cheek, your lipstick is left there. <laughs> you drink something from a cup or a glass your lipstick stain is left there you so much as share food with someone using the same fork your lipstick is left there and it's not exactly pleasant to eat with the same fork someone has used and left lipstick on it's really not <laughs> but there is such an easy fix for this really easy fix that will make sure your lipstick stays where it's supposed to stay which is on your lips Okay guys, I'm sure this is so familiar to you. Hmm? See that? So what you can do to stop that transfer is to use a translucent powder or if not a translucent powder and you have a baby powder, you could also just use that. But then you want to use very small amounts just so that it doesn't change the formula of your lipstick so your lipstick is glossy and nice you don't put too much and then make it smart that's not the point the point is to just dab very little so that it doesn't transfer onto someone else like you know that <laughs> or onto your glass or onto your fork that's the point so let me show you guys how to do it so you take your translucent powder and you just dab it on. Ta-da! No stain. So if I kiss my hand, mwah, you see, there's nothing at all on there as opposed to this hand which i had kissed earlier can you see that and now look at that there is nothing so this hack really does work so those are my five tips for you guys to help you or to help your makeup stay on your face and not you know transfer onto someone's beautiful white shirt <laughs> and at the same time since your makeup is not transferring you leave people wondering mm, does she really wear makeup or is her skin just flawless <laughs> So thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Mwah!